Alright, so here we go, everybody. Again, with testing the Hawk some more. Three different long-range setups. The more careful you play, the longer you get to play that thing, right? Let's do this! Never gets old, man, this song. Got it! Yay! <laughs> okay, are you guys ready? Hey, guys and gals, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the next live stream here this weekend. No, quite uh, this Wednesday. Sorry, something with W. <laughs> Cut me some slack. Uh, we're here testing three different uh, Hawk setups. This time, all long range. We had this one before, so this isn't really new. But this one is something I want to test: Pins and Avalanche, and then having Shredder and Viper on it too. All of those setups have 500 meters range, so it's not sniping, but it's still long range. And the more careful we play with this thing and the less often we have to get in danger in ultra close range The longer we can stay alive with it <laughs> Let's see how this works if we meet you know high powerful meta clans again and they decide to destroy me then well Let's see if I can <laughs> stop that from happening. I don't think so, but let's see all right So boosters are running. Let's jump into some gameplay team deathmatch. I think we're playing team deathmatch most of all because this allows me to basically just have as much time as I want, right? No problem with any, um, you know, with, with any uh, beacon progress or whatever that I have to worry about. So, let's go with the avalanche version first. The thing from the thumbnail. And <laughs> Hi, dude. Taking me with you, huh? That's cool. Thank you. <laughs> Did you see that? I landed on him. That is awesome. People have asked me, can you carry yourself or can an Ao Ming carry something else in the air? Wolf Titan with a $5. Thank you, sir. Um, can a Titan fly, an Ao Ming fly another robot? And I think in theory it would be definitely possible. The problem or the question is, um, is it going to be useful? Uh, and will you not fly from it? Like, will you not fly down from it? Uh huh, okay. Yeah, okay, he's he's trying to survive. Okay, he gets to survive because I actually get um, There he is And boom there you go nice Getting him there. I'm suppressed again. Unfortunately that nightingale is doing a good job at keeping me suppressed the whole time But let's let's take some revenge from him. Boom 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 Yep, we're having that avalanche rocking so yeah, in theory, I think you could technically get somebody, um, you know, get somebody somewhere uh, with the Ao Ming, but you'll fall down from it. You won't stay up on it. As far as I know, you can't hold onto it. You'll 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 drop down no matter what. Okay, he's immediately flying now. Somehow he locked me down. Did you see that? How did he even get me in 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 sight? Here, I want to take a little bit of damage from this guy because, you know, I want to get into overdrive category. Okay, and now that he used up his thing, now I'm gonna fly. Let's see if we can stay alive against him here. Although I think that he's gonna be dealt with any time, any second now. Uh, yo, and I have to get into cover really quickly. He insta-locked me again, but thankfully I do have uh, a phase shift ready. Uh, so he does that. That's his thing. He does the lockdown ammo. Every time he opens fire, he starts locking people down. Which is a very effective strategy, by the way. Um, oh, that's an, Ao, that's an Ao Guang with resistance. An Ao Guang with resistance, man. Boom, there he goes. That resistance does not help him at all. And that's why I focused on the Aoguang first. So again, the, the plan here is to try and find out how long can we stay alive, right? Because we know people like to focus um, uh, focus the, uh, the Hawk robots whenever they see them. They love to focus them because they're the most dangerous thing and they know they will eventually drop their Titan. And in order for their Titan to have some fun, this thing here has to go, right? So this is kind of the reason here. 
All right, I'm deploying the resistance now. Trying to help out here against this guy. His phase shift is still on, but no longer. And I'm getting back on cover now. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to fall down there. So are we going to get this guy? Oh, come on. Yes, I got him. I got him, dude. I got him just in time. And we have overdrive running. So those avalanches that we have, they really pack a punch now. Right? The question is, are we going to even be able to do something with them? Ow. Okay. Yep, that Aochun has some firepower. And here comes a phantom. Yep, he's ready to come around the corner. <laughs> he doesn't wanna... He doesn't wanna... I'm getting out of his range now. Because he's got 300 meters range and I have way more. See? Now his rockets go into the wall. And I can... Um, I can set my fire to him here from the left side. Okay. Let's see if we can finish him. Uh, nope, he's face shifting. Okay. Yeah, and this is what I mean. This is the kind of focus that I mean, right? That you get from people as soon as you start hawking. <laughs> I'm Steven Hawking! <laughs> oh, here he comes. Look at him. He's really mad now. And he cost me a weapon already. The thing is, I get to fly again. So is he gonna teleport? And if so, yes, how? Where? He actually gets on top of it. Wow, that is impressive. I didn't think he was gonna make it on top of the building. I thought he, he he made his jump point somewhere down. But you see this, right? How much I struggle with this phantom. How immensely difficult this guy for me to beat is. It's insane. I can barely even do it at all. And so here we go again, and he's gonna teleport back. Yep, there he is, up there again. It's like an end boss, this guy. It's like an absolute end boss right now. Thankfully, he made a little mistake and dropped too soon, and I was able to hit him. I lost a heavy avalanche. But see, this is what happens when you play this thing. They will come, and they will focus you. Is the avalanche even doing- Look, he's got full HP! Is the avalanche even firing? Seriously, I've, I get the feeling this is like the worst weapon that exists in this game, the avalanche. Isn't it supposed to be way better than, um, than thing it, the thing is? What is it called here? Um, okay. Um, here at, um, come on, help me out with the name. Oh my god, I'm so sick of all those face shifts. I'm so sick of the face shifts. Everyone face shifts now, every single one. There is absolutely no one in this game that you can simply attack with any of those modes. You notice that, right? You no matter who you focus with the uh, with the, <laughs> with the hawk, instant phase shift all the time. First stab, phase shift. Come out of phase shift and it's back in cover. So never really an opportunity to deal damage. And uh, one of the reasons that really make this thing not work, um, not work very well. If everybody uses phase shift, then this robot is worthless because people can't, you can't damage anybody. However, it's good for against Titans, that's its main job. Oh, I just realized we have three people from TW, T something. That's three of them. Ah, okay. I didn't know there was gonna be three. I thought that was just one. Okay. He's trying to flame me. Okay. And I think the first of these guys has now deployed um, their thing. Did I get him locked? I think so. He's, I think he's locked. And because he's locked, I can have a bit of fun with him here. As you see. This is really good, man. Lockdown weapon on the Hawk is amazing. I have to say. Because you can, you can lock down Titans extremely fast uh, with these two Shredders. They are locked down instantly. This guy... He immediately started phase shift uh, sh using his his uh, his ability. Get guess what? Phase shift. No, he didn't phase shift. Oh, that's an enemy hawk. See, and we're doing very little damage to an enemy hawk because his resistance cannot be bypassed. This is why we do so little damage to them. 
so I think they dropped in another Titan. So let's go walk around the corner, try and lock down the Titan, and then have some fun with him. This is not a Titan. Okay. I don't really want to get hit by him here. He's got double glories. They hurt. Those double glories hurt. At least if they get close to you. Let's see if we can lock a Titan somewhere. Is he ready for me? I don't know. I can't get past him. Okay, I'm suppressed now. Well, that's cool because... Now that we're doing damage, we can uh, do something here. However, it seems like we're not having enough firepower to really get this guy destroyed in one go. And since he had cover that he could just stand behind, there is not really a way to just take him safely from a distance. If I just want to fire from a distance and stay safe, not get killed after the ability, if I want to not get killed by using the ability, I have to... St then I can't damage him. Because he had cover and he would never allow himself to be damaged for as long as I don't fly around his steel shielding in front of him. So, um, yeah. Give me a hawk, please. Um, I am planning on making a giveaway uh, sometime within the next two weeks, if, if possible. Starting a giveaway where we give away 200 hawk robots. So, uh, stay tuned for that, guys and gals. It should be coming. By the way, this was, again, a clan of three people or squad. Uh, but my team has done uh, a pretty good job here. Why is there Titan stuff falling all over the place? Okay, can't deal damage here. Let's start to fly and just deal some damage here to the kit. Because this match is going to end in a few seconds anyways. So I may as well just draw full, full usage from this thing. Yep. Dealing as much damage and then here we go, ending. Nice. So we were able to survive for a bit, but we couldn't save ourselves through the entire match, right? The idea was to kind of stay safe for the whole match. And you know what I'm gonna do? Whoa, we also had a six-man squad. Wait, this was a six-man squad. I thought it was three or so. There was six of them. And we had five people. What did I get myself into? <laughs> I was just trying to have some fun with those long-range hawks. And I got myself into, into doomsday land. Um, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna scrap the uh, avalanche and I'm gonna test the trident instead. The trident has 600 meters range. But wait a minute. What could we line up with the trident to have 600 meters range? Uh, where is the trident? Here. Somehow the avalanche didn't do very well. I don't know. It, there is a nerf. No, wait. There is a buff in the test server coming for it. So let's see if the buff will, will do something about it. But so far, the avalanche hasn't really impressed me all that much. However, I'm unhappy with the pins. I'd like to have something also with 600 meters range. Uh, you guys want me to equip certain special thing? What could we put on it um, that has 600 meters range? Uh, that has the same kind of damage. Maybe Sting. Sting has 600 meter range. And it has the same... <laughs> Hans Johansen also says Sting. Uh, it has the same range and it has the same damage type. Um, so this would be one thing we could do. Other than that, I don't think... This has 800 meters range. Other than that, I don't think there is anything that has... 600 meters. It's Spark is a different enemy uh, damage type. Let's go with Sting. So, let's just go with two stings on this side. Pins suck anyways. I mean, seriously, pins are like the worst thing you can run. Uh, it's so horrible. They're even worse than Tolomas. Imagine. It sounds impossible, but it's actually the case. So, let's go and have some fun with this new long-range setup. Uh, Nodens or Arthur? Uh, somebody asked. Sorry, I was gonna read your name, but... Brrr, name was gone. Um, <clears throat> I think Arthur for sure. In my opinion, Arthur. Although, depends on your team setup. If you have a good team and, and a clan mate or so, and you, you play with them a lot, maybe then the Nodens could be better for you. So, let's test our newly built setup. And uh, we have Wolf Titan 101 with a 13 buck donation. Thank you so much. Isn't that your second one already? Yeah. Five first, then 13 later. Then we have Nathan Bayas with... Six dollar, ten dollar. Thank you, man. We have Shindihi Rao with 100 Indian rupees. Um, 
Hey, Manny, been a fan since the death button griffin days. Oh, that's cool, man. <laughs> Greetings, dude. That's a long time. Lord Britannia with 30 euros. Whoa! Lord Britannia, this is awesome. Hold on. This guy just started flying. 600 meters range. We can hit this guy. Question is, is he gonna leech? I'm guessing he's gonna leech eventually, isn't he? Yeah, okay, now he is. Now he's leeching. I'm waiting for him to come out into the open, and then it's hawk time, baby. And of course, oh, you know what? It's the same guys from before. Oh my god. It's the same guys from before, really. He's face shifting again. That's the second face shift that he's bringing up now. Oh man, is that annoying. Alright, you know what? I can do that too. Double face shift. So, and now I'm gonna be dead though, unfortunately. Oh, can I fly? I can fly because he missed. So, no more face shift for you, dude. So, that's it. Bye bye. GG. Anyone else here? What is this guy? Oh, it's the Ao. Uh, the Ao Kin. No, Ao Guang, it's the name. It's an Ao Guang. Okay. Can we get him before he flies? Yes, we were able to. This guy too? Come on. Oh, I got locked and uh, suppressed. Damn it. Dude, I would have gotten that kill if you hadn't suppressed me. Okay. Very low amount of HP here on me. Okay, they got me out of the air. Um, let's play something else first before we continue here. Look how, lo how much HP uh, those Nightingales have. Isn't that insane? Okay. We're gonna die now too because we have four people on us. And I'm suppressed at the same time. Yo, um, team? Just, just, just asking. Team? Are you here? Are you in this battle too? Are you guys here? Would be good if you guys were here. Yep, there goes my robot. Uh, you know what? I'm exiting this match. I'm not gonna play against six-man squads anymore. I want to play a normal match in Team Deathmatch. Six versus six random people. I'm a random player. I want to play in random matches. I don't want to play with non-existent teams against six-man squads. Sorry, guys. Uh, this is just ridiculous. At this point, this is... I'm meeting them for the second time. That's just stupid. I battled them once. Uh, but I'm not gonna do it another time. I want to have some random people and a variety of different players and not the same peri pill over and over because the matchmaker is horrible. Okay, let's just have some fun, change up things, have different people to play with. And by the way, I would have gotten slaughtered there. You saw my team didn't exist. It was me versus six of them, so... Not really a point in trying. So, in order to actually have a, f have a chance to enjoy the setups and do what we're trying to do here, we have to use some um, some random players. So, rage quit, somebody says. That's not a rage quit. You guys know my rage quits. Uh, no, wait, the quits not so much, but you know when I rage. That wasn't rage. I just wanted to um, not even get there, basically. <laughs> I'm exiting before I even get there. No no point in trying here six, six versus money and then getting upset about it. Um, boop, boop. Okay, we got the scorpion before he even got the nemesis. He, you can tell, the scorpion wanted to go back, but he couldn't because he got, um, <laughs> he got killed. He couldn't get the nemesis before he get, went back. Any more scorpions, maybe? By the way, I think that the trident does better. Seriously. I think the trident does better than, um... How, does a, how is it a rage quit when there's no rage? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense, guys. Um, the Trident seems to be doing better than the Avalanche, in my opinion. Is this guy ever going to show? Alright, let's go and... I'm, I'm eyeballing this Rice player here. He hasn't taken one step into the corridor once. Seriously. He stands there in the corridor. Now, this is the first time he's moving out. <laughs> For this long time, he was standing there. Why was he standing there so passively? You know, the first match was even enjoyable with, uh, with uh, against six players because we had also a capable team. So it's like a, a really fair thing. But I don't want to have a, uh, a six versus, uh, versus me here. That would be kind of lame. Let's see if we can fly up. Oh, hello. 
he came back, it seems. Okay. Can we hit someone here? There's a Ravana, okay. Seven attempts to get the Ravana into a lock. Um, let's see if we can shoot on top of him. Oh, he wants the Zeus Sniper, it seems. Yeah, he's down to low health now. I'm not afraid of this shotgunner there, but he's locked. He's locked down now. Nice. Boom. Dude, that's cool. He got him locked and this was really awesome. However, one thing that wasn't so cool is that he shot him. Next time you... Dude, please try not to shoot the guy who's leeching at me. Okay. And... Zip. I'm gonna land back in safety here because otherwise I may get hit and killed by the Ares again, okay? So, uh, okay, 600 meters range with all four weapons. Oh man, there's a little Leo on the receiving end. Oh, hello. Hello, Scorpion. We are not really doing that much damage here. Okay, uh, and he instantly teleports back. <laughs> he knew he was gonna get a lot of damage uh, from this if he doesn't teleport back. Landing back on my favorite spot here with the uh, with this robot. Wow, I got a lot of damage here, I gotta say. Oh, it's oh because Trebuchet. Yeah. I, oh, and this guy has that weapon set up. Ah, okay. He's got these weapons. They pack a punch. Okay, but we have overdrive running, so uh, now we can do double damage. See, and this is now a much better condition for us to test setups that aren't necessarily meta. If you want to win a match and you have to play versus high-end squads, then you're probably better off choosing Rhyme and Cryo or something other than, you know, than these things. Uh, but I actually want to have some some testing of some non-meta you know non -meta setups. Things you don't see all the time. Insta-lock. <laughs> <laughs> this is so crazy, people running this lockdown every day. Uh, but it's good that we can um, can stay safe from that a little bit. Although, you guys know me, right? I'm personally, I would probably want it so that you couldn't get yourself freed from lockdown with face shift or transcendence. You should stay locked. You, you get invincible. Did you just dash? I'm not sure if I should tell you this, but you are a phantom. You do not have a dash. Okay, just saying, dude. Next time, don't dash. Not on my watch. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we already have a Titan deployed. Mm, okay. That changes things. That was quick. Although, I guess it has been five minutes, so... Yep, there goes this guy. Everything I want to shoot at dies before I can even do anything, because the Titan just kills it in one hit. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Starting to fly and... Bzzzt. Oh, he killed himself by shooting me. That's cool. Wow. Dude, we almost killed this guy. <laughs> unreal. The focus you get in a hawk is unreal. It's so crazy. This time... It may not even be my name. This time it may literally be the fact that it's a hawk. People go for you so hard when you have a hawk. They come at you with everything they have. They spawn and instantly take you down. They, they don't care and at all. Thankfully we still have another hawk. Nothing I can actually shoot. Everyone is safe. Every single one of these players is safe. Okay. From up here, we can bypass a shield, which is pretty cool. And then fly backwards and land in safety, hopefully. Okay. He was almost locked down, but not quite. There was a tiny little bit of health left on him. Okay. 
That face shift, by the way, it's kind of a have to on the hawk. Seriously, you must have that face shift. Reloading these weapons. We have overdrive almost ready. Uh, we had it ready for a second, but... Well, okay, he's getting killed. Okay, this guy's shield drops. Ah, now my turn. My turn to do something here with the Hawk. But without Overdrive C, it actually takes quite a bit to take down a Titan. Uh, it may be a very well-leveled Titan, but it does take quite a while to get him killed uh, when you don't have Overdrive running. So something to keep in mind, Overdrive also extremely useful on the, on the Hawk. Um, but so is Last Stand, obviously, right? Hmm. All right, let's jump into another match. See what it's gonna be. <clears throat> um, I, by the way, I don't mind if we have clans on the enemy side, and I also have a couple of really good people on my side, so that it's at least somewhat even, right? That was a problem before. That was really a uh, kind of a crazy situation there. I've ran two or three bots in them alone versus all of them. My team was there, but they just always be like, oh, thank God, look who's talking is there and brings his hit points into the game. And, uh, and we don't have to do that ourselves. Okay. That's going to be the overdrive activation now. Okay. He's now f uh, using his shield. Blocking every damage. Okay. Yep, it's me who's taking the Hydras. So that Hydra player, I have to take him out. I'm not sure who it is, but I have to take him down. Captain Seppa, is, it's, it is. Again, I just started the battle and it's already uh, a focus here. <laughs> Already getting dirty focus from someone. I'm, well, I want to make him use his jump. Okay, forget it. I'm not using his jump. Okay, this is a lot of damage now. With the, uh, with the overdrive right now. Okay, I'm gonna be dead now because look, another Aochun starts flying instantly. And he's doing everything in his power to make sure this Hawk robot does not get a second chance. But I got the Hydra player out of the game, so now I can uh, enjoy the rest of the match normally without getting focused out by a Hydra. Again, you saw it, right? Battle start, not even two seconds in, and the Hydra player has found me as his prime target and that goes for no one else anymore. This is like what, this is really a thing that will happen to you when you play the Hawk. Uh, and when you show yourself as a Hawk really early on, right? This is not necessarily because it's me or anything. I think this is, I think this has to do with the Hawk. So when you have a Hawk early on right now, be ready for some focus, guys. <laughs> be ready for some focus. Oh, he still has a jump, okay. I want to get down his last stand, and I'm trying to hopefully get him before he flies again. Yep, that worked. Okay. You know what? I need to reload my weapons anyway, so as may, may as well just go do do this. Okay. He's shielding himself, and then I'm gonna make sure I land in cover. See? No Hydras to worry about now. <laughs> if I had Hydras to worry about now, this would suck. Okay, he's shield uh, doing this. This guy should be out of shield. He does not, not have a shield anymore. Boom. Boom. Oh, it is so low damage, these tridents. Once they're reloading, I mean, the damage is really, like, non-existing. Okay. We still don't have overdrive running, by the way. 
But this guy's currently helping me get there. Come on, help me out with that overdrive, buddy. A little bit more and then I have it for sure. Right now I have overdrive, but I can regenerate out of it. And I, uh, I don't want that. Let's go and take down the Ares this time. Nope, he has the shield again. This is the third time that he saves himself with this shield. Boom. Did I hit him? Ah, oh, no, okay. Beyond godlike. My overdrive isn't there. Is this shock train? Yeah, I think he's got shock train there. Look, he's coming with shock train now. But he fired. And I think now the overdrive is finally running. Yep. Ares in the distance. Boom, here comes the big rockets. How did I not hit him with those tridents? Eh? They looked like... Did you see that? They looked like they perfectly hit him. Does Trident not have splash damage anymore? Oh, he's leeching. Alright, you know what? Let's kill him. He's face shifting, of course. Alright. Good. It's good that we finally have the overdrive in a very, very safe way. Behind us is someone just saying, guys, could you turn around real quick? Oh, wow, he's not going for me right now. Oh, now he is. Wow. Did you see what he just did? Levon, great job. You had... He did a quick switch. He killed the guy to my right, and then he quick switched over to me, and he did not lose his lock on. That requires a lot of skill. These moves are not easy to do. Um... Yep, those things hurt. I see so many Ares now. What the heck? Never seen that many Ares ever before. Dude, will it, will these Tridents ever hit? Look at this! Four out of five shots didn't hit. Dude, this is insane. The Tridents is doing nothing right now. Okay. He's fighting at someone down there. Oh, I actually hit him with the tridents. I can't believe it. Okay. He's coming up there. And he double splashes. He hit me perfectly in my face and he hit him too. He double splashed all that damage right there. Complete double splash into us. There's no point for me in flying because he will not be able to- he will not take damage from this. I need the leech to attack him offensively and draw out all his moves. So this should be it. Now he's using his modes to stay safe against the leech. Another. Okay. No, he's walking away, actually. Oh my god, really? You found that tiny little sneaky corner. Okay. S Leech, could you just please kill this guy? Wow. I will probably get killed by the Nightingale's attack. Let's see. All right, here we go. Ooh, Titan. Oh, man. I'm so low on health now, and I still do so much damage. Look at how much damage I just did in what a short amount of time. This is crazy. And he's coming. Look, he wanted to come for me. This is so awesome. The focus is real when you, when you play the Hawk, dude. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can survive it. He's gonna brawl back, I think. No, actually. Okay, this guy's done. Oh no, another Titan to my left. Okay, this is bad.
Can I survive? Six, seven, five, four, three, two, one. Death. Perfect. Perfectly done. He, this one guy drove me around the corner and the other guy put the nail in the coffin, dude. Absolute perfection. One, zero, death. This was the moment I wanted to, to jump up. Uh, but you saw Levon over there. He saw what happens here and what danger this is. So now that he's locked, we're gonna have some fun. With overdrive running too. Doing double damage. And see, and this is why the combo with, with the shredders is extremely good. Shredders? Maybe I should have... Oh, that's what I could have done. Look, look how fast you lock him down with the, with this. I could have basically uh, corner shoot locked him. And then I would have had been able to stay safe. No, wait a minute. I didn't have lockdown on the previous setup. I couldn't have done that. Alright, what else do we have? Whoa, there's been a lot of donations now. Misail, 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 Esti Muy. It's probably something Spanish. I'm sorry, I'm horrible at reading that, my friend. Um, uh, he says nothing. Uh, Lol Rice with five dollar super chat, saying, you know what? Let's just fly up here, have some fun with that guy. Uh, boom. Okay. There we go. And then Lol Rice just got Scorpion while watching your video live. Whoa! Congratulations on the Scorpion. It's a really good robot for team deathmatch, in my opinion. On on T on Beacon Rush. It can be tricky and good, but it usually, it's better to have a strong brawler, and the, the Scorpion is not a bad brawler, but it's not as good as a Ravana or a Fenrir as in, in terms of pure brawling power. Um, but it's definitely a good robot, so it will probably replace something weaker on your hangar. Uh, fun car reviews, again, with the five Schweizer Frank. Man, it's cool to have you around every time, buddy. Um, uh, danke dir, because I know you can understand me when you're from Switzerland. Um, hey Manny, hope you are fine. I'm from Switzerland, let's have a good game and show those Ravanas who's the boss. Big shout out to your second channel. Thank you, Fun Car Reviews. He's referring to Good Mood Gaming. Uh, that would be... Nope. I keep hitting the wrong button, I always forget what it is. It's, um... He's referring to, to this channel right here. Um, currently in the middle of the Last of Us playthrough. Um, so yeah, thank you, man. And uh, I'm not sure if I can show those Ravanas who's boss because when I run these long-range setup setups on the Hawk, I'm really weak and vulnerable, and especially in short-range rush. And this is what you can't stop a uh, um, what's it called here? You cannot stop a, a Ravana from rushing you, you know. So that's kind of the problem here. Um, but let's see, let's see what we can do, man. Frederick Fletcher with five dollar super chat. Hey, I have Pixonics less than you uh, to you regarding the hawk bypassing all the robots' re uh, resistance. I hope Pixonic listens to you. Ah, that's what you're trying to say. Yeah, I hope so too, man. Uh, it would be really cool. So this is a. Um, okay, he's instantly face shifting, of course. Got him down to last stand, and his ability is gone too. So that should be it for you really quickly here. Wait a minute, your ability is supposed to be gone! Huh? How long did that ability last? Oh, wait a minute, he activated it later. He first phase shifted, and then he activated the ability. That's right. Oh, that was a good move. I actually uh, didn't see that coming. That was a really good move there. Okay, let's get him. And make sure he flies. Okay, this is an Aochun, and he is on his way to me. I have to be stay safe here if I can. Because you know he's gonna come for me here. Someone is shooting Hydras or so. I can corner shoot him, but I'm actually gonna save the HP and instead go for this. And face shift! Everyone! 100% of the time, every single one of the players does that. There's no one who does not run face shift as soon as you get connect the beam. But the thing is, people don't do that all the time in other setups, right? Not in, in all setups, people don't always do this with a face shift. This is something that they do specifically against the Hawk. Way more than any other setup. This is so crazy. Um, 
So we got countered by a... Uh, by a scorpion. Obviously. Let's see if we can jump on the scorpion and attack him in short range. Because he won't be able to jump anywhere. Except, of course, behind me. Which doesn't matter because I'm still gonna get him. Because my ability is running. And he cannot retreat anyone anywhere because guess where he lands when he retreats? Directly in front of me. That's right. That's how you attack a scorpion. You attack him where he is. And if you do this, then he's gonna have a big problem. When you attack the scorpion where the scorpion is, that's when they have a real, real problem. Eh? I wasn't firing for a sec. Another Ravana. So we're gonna jump back into another thing in a second. In an, into another hawk. But first, let's get this Ravana out of the way. He's face shifting another time. So he had his ability, then he face shifted. Now he's gonna have another ability. There it is. That was the, th the second one. Let's jump sideways. He's gonna miss all his shots. He's gonna use another ability. And at this point, he realizes that I still have all my abilities. I still have the ability ready. So, and that's what I'm gonna use now. And you're not gonna get me here with your uh, Ravana, buddy. Sorry. I used too many of your abilities in too, too soon. That's the problem, right? Um, when you outrange the Ravana, you can do some pretty cool stuff. But you've got to outrange him. So that he has to use all his uh, invincibilities in order to get to you. When you can do that, then you're gonna have a really good time. Oh, we have overdrive running right now. Can we make this guy use this ability? No, he's not using it yet. Okay, here comes Hydras. Or Spirals, nothing I can do about it. Now he's using his ability. And he also lost his sh stealth there. Okay. Got him down to last end. And jumping away in the last second. And then getting killed by the Aochun. Yep. But guess what happens? The Aochun just killed himself too. He wanted me so bad that he got himself killed as well. See that? Two kills gotten with this very low amount of HP um, thing what we had. What was it? Uh, a leech. So how do you guys like long, long range setups on the Hawk? I think they are okay. This one in particular. This one is extremely overpowered uh, because the weapons are so strong. But uh, other than that, I think the uh, in general, you'd, ri you'd, you'd rather run something. Okay. It's a Ravana. A uh, Nightingale. He's gonna use that shield of his now. Okay. He's still gonna fly. There we go. Took forever for me to actually get... Can I save myself here? Wait, am I getting hit by a... Yeah, I'm getting hit by a titan, dude. There's a titan on me already. Wow. The guy is trying to suppress me from... And he did. He did suppress me now. And I'm not going to have a chance against a, uh, against a Nightingale. Absolutely not. He can just come around the corner and get me. Uh, but how are we having so few people, by the way? How is this possible? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to spawn where no teammate is. Wow, we're two people now. I'm trying to take some more damage here. So I can then start flying. And the Nightingale is back suppressing me once more. He is back attacking me once more with his Nightingale. Okay. Very low amount of HP here. 
Okay, trying to get this guy. He's flying again, okay. Uh, do you notice how the Ravana is pretty much the end boss? You can't defeat the Ravana. You cannot. The Ravana is just gonna kill you. Um, be except if you have super strong long range, uh, we like short range rushing weapons, obviously you can kill him too. Um, but usually you get you get into a big, a tr big amount of trouble if you try and fight the Ravana. Uh, the Nightingale, sorry. I keep saying the wrong names because I'm in the middle of the action. Something that people say a lot in the comments is like, Man, you're confusing names constantly. Yeah, in the middle of the combat, in mid-fight, I, uh, I keep confusing this. By the way, buddy, I have noticed that you haven't done anything but fire at me. So, not sure if you if this is really necessary, if you're cool with that. But, um, yeah, just... There's other people on the match, too. Uh, just go have some fun with those as well, right? There's no need to try and, and try and desperately get yourself into this livestream uh, by by focusing me so hard. So we're, we should be able to, from here, kill uh, the Arthur relatively well. No, I'm locked now. Somebody locked me down. Okay. Yep, that's extremely unhealthy. What hits me so hard? No, 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 that's not the Arthur. That's something else. Something else was hitting me extremely hard with, with mad powerful hits. Was there a Titan somewhere? This is my last robot already. And the enemy seems to have all the Titans still. Wow, okay. How about you guys help me? Dude, I'm being attacked by two Arthurs, can't... Do, do Yeah, okay. This is my last robot, so congrats, team. You just got yourself rid of a, of a strong meta player. You just lost your strongest player in the match because you just wouldn't give him any kind of support. Wow. I think I... Pfft, wow, insane. But my team was already running out of robots somehow, so maybe they just didn't have anything left. Jumping into the next battle. See, the Nightingale counters the, uh, the Hawk pretty well. And if you have a sniper set up, you can't beat him. If you have a brawling setup, okay, hold on, the game crashed. Uh, if you have a brawling setup, then you can defeat the uh, Nightingale in the combat afterwards when he lands. You can defeat him then, but if you run weak snipers like I do right now, then you really have a problem. Those snipers, sniper or long range support weapons do not offer the amount of firepower I need to kill a Nightingale fast. I can't do it, I can't kill him fast enough. And he can always land directly next to me when my ability is not ready. Um, in order to have a chance, you have to somehow get your ability when his ability is not there. Which you can only do if your firepower exceeds his. Because then he will gladly start the flight, you know what I mean? He will only start his flight and stop killing you when your firepower exceeds his. Only when he loses, he will start to fly in stealth. But he wins the battle because we're running weak sniper setups. And that's why you, you can't beat him. You just can't. When your ability is ready, his ability is ready. He suppresses you. You can't deal damage to anyone on the battlefield. And, um, yeah. So, pretty, pretty strong counter to the Hawk, these Nightingales. Normally, however, you have a team that will eventually kill that Nightingale. Normally, you have a team that will eventually do something to help you. When you're playing as money gaming, then you will have no team, never, never, ever, and then you get you get four, you get one on one by this nightingale for five minutes, and no one ever comes to your help. <laughs> Wasn't that insane? I feel like this battle literally took three minutes. Not a single person ever helped me with this. Not a single outshone with a. Uh, with quantum radar pilot or anything, just helping out a little bit, pressuring this guy. I was even getting back into my own base to receive some backup. None. <laughs> no backup. Crazy. Alright, boom. Boom. Wow, the trident li reloads so slow. Holy moly. This thing re loads, reloads incredibly slow. Oh my goodness. Did you see that? 
I fire one rocket, instantly flies and stealths away. I think I got him down to last end. Let's try and land here in safety for the moment. Boom. Wow, he uh... Okay. This guy... Wait, he's leeching someone, but he's leeching behind him. Yeah, okay. Oh, there is him again. And he starts to jump again. Every time he... As soon as like one rocket comes for him, he's like instantly stealth jumping. Every time. Let's wait for it. No, he's not coming. Okay. I haven't hit him with one of my tridents, unfortunately. G wait for the Inquisitor. He's gonna walk out again, but only after his ability is ready. So he can instantly jump. Unreal that this weapon hasn't hit him. Nope, you cannot deal a point of damage to this Inquisitor. Oh, he's out of range now, okay. I'm trying to get him. I'm trying to hit him at least once or so. <laughs> this is so good. He, every time he jumps sideways, it's like a, this guy's like like a like a bot or something. You can make him do these things all the time. It's like just a button press and you get him to do exactly what you want. So now we have overdrive running. Okay, I hit him one more time with this. Now he's trying to gain some distance and save himself. Uh, and I'll just jump, fly back. I'm just trying to gain some distance too, right? I see the Inquisitor jumping again. He must have been hit. <laughs> Somebody must have hit him. Okay, down to last stand with him. All right. Where is the Inquisitor? Is that it? That's him! Oh, I can do damage to him finally, yes! <laughs> he didn't have his stealth ready. Oh god, those Ravanas, it's just so stupid. Like, never had an opportunity to actually deal damage to these things. I am getting hit quite a bit here. I don't want to walk out any further. The Ravana has meanwhile regenerated all his uh, abilities. Okay. This was not a hit. It was literally a miss. Dude, the Trident are so bucked. Yo, I hit him. Nice. And the Sting got the kill uh, with the over uh, with the uh, over overtime damage. Uh oh. Sent the rocket into the wrong direction. So enemies dropped a Titan, right? Or or was it our team? Okay, no, I can't hit the Arthur. The Arthur shield. Wait for this guy. Nope, it's an Ares with a shield or something. The problem is this this Titan can go into cover. I can't really attack him. Even if I try to break his shield, he will just go into cover. What I could do is just splash him a little bit with the rockets here. The second shot didn't hit. Go up, go back, guys. Take a look at how precise the second shot was aimed. Okay, here we go. Nice, now we're doing some damage. Oh man, look at that Ao Ming. Holy moly. Boom, instantly killed. Okay, we're doing next to nothing to this guy. I need to get in cover. Ow, another Ao Ming has hit me. Uh, I think the Ao Ming is gonna fly, uh, land as soon as I start hitting him. Um, no, he's not gonna make it. Thanks for the target switch. Yeah, I wanted to stop killing him and instead shoot at something else. Targeting system is still so broken sometimes, man. I think that the Arthur is finally getting destroyed. 
My team has whooped through the right flank. Is this an a Fenrir? If this is a Fenrir, then it's my job to take it down. Yeah, it is a Fenrir. This guy is going to have a bit of a problem now. Look how fast his, his Fenrir will go down. I see nothing, by the way. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, it was a prank! It was a prank! Leave me alone! Can I make it in cover? I don't think so. I think he's gonna catch me. Oh, I got it! I got in cover! I can't believe it! The thing is, I can't t take him out now because I have to basically walk inside the sh uh, under the bridge in order to take him. Okay. Now I can do it. He still has his last stand even. That's insane. Here we go. From behind, he's getting taken out, but of, of course we can- we would have now gotten him too. Uh, this perspective is a little bit crazy. Boom. 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 The trident still, in theory, does some damage when it hits, but they have really messed up the trident somehow. Alright, we have, by the way, a lot more- uh-oh. Uh. Oh, damn it, what did I do? Okay. Uh, we have a lot more donations that I want to read. Um, we have uh, Aman Khan. No, Amar Khan. Uh, with... Uh, how come you don't have a pilot named after you? Adrian has one. You you have uh, more subscribers. It's not fair. Um, you know, th this has been talked through. We I, I was at this with Pixonic. Um, there's a reason why it didn't happen. But it's not... There, we don't really have to go into detail about it. Um, we, we talked about this and, um, we couldn't get ourselves, uh, whoa, wait, did I lose my tridents? No. Um, some formalities kind of came in, in the way, if we want to call it like this, okay? Um, this is why. Uh, Jeremy Dyer with a $5 super chat. Shout out to, to No Quarters Clan. Uh, alright, man, No Quarters Clan, greetings to you from Jeremy Dyer. Uh, Christoph Witzek with 20, no, 50 seats at K. What is this? And we got the god, we, we got the god-like sunglasses. Let's go, Manny. Yeah, it's not the god-like sunglasses, though. It's, uh, the legend, living legend sunglasses. <laughs> then we have, uh, Layath Omad with $4 super chat. Keep going from Iraq. Uh, hey, man, greetings back to you, dude, and thank you. Let's go with 600 meters range on uh, on this first. Where well, we ended, we have Aor Bordelen uh, with twenty dollars super chat. Man, thank you so much for your twenty, dude. You didn't even leave a message. You just like, hey, I have a twenty, but <laughs> nice, thank you. Uh, then we have Aor. No, I have read this. Uh, Rafa Free Fire. Oh, ow, hey, 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 that's not cool. I think, yep. Yeah. Okay, I can hit him. Um, it's a, it's a, ooh, aua, hey, 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 okay, guys, this is, this is now enough, okay, enough with the damage already, boom, oh my god, I think I just killed a blitz, uh, a leech robot, I got hit again by something, vortex or something seems to be hitting me the whole time, okay, oh, I couldn't finish him, no, that sucked, and he hit me again. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, we have 4,000 HP now. 3,000. <laughs> Noricoms! I got killed by freaking Noricoms! No! I can now enter the wall of shame. <laughs> the hall of shame. <laughs> I've got killed by Noricoms. Oh, man. Oh, I can't believe that just happened. Unreal. What is that? Um, whoa. Whoa! Okay, whoa! We just had a $50 donation from Mark Mills. Hey, Manny, you should try the Spectre with 2 times Storm and 2 times Orkin. It's pretty fun. I think I remember doing that. Not with a Spectre, though. What I did, I used the, uh, the Raven or the Griffin, and I put Gust and Orkins on it. Gust as shotguns and Orkins for damage uh, rockets, right? Um, this was the advanced death button or something I called it. I don't remember. 
Um, but it was a really good setup. I, I agree. It worked really well. Um, whoa, those are enemies? Enemies in front of me. I just spawn here and I don't I don't expect any I, I didn't know what was gonna happen here and suddenly I'm suppressed now. That sucks. Okay. With overdrive damage rolling, this guy should die relatively soon. This is a leech robot in the back. Okay, this is a scorpion. Alright. This is where the scorpion is, by the way. Uh-oh. I didn't land in safety here. Ow, ow, I'm taking some damage. Uh, the scorpion... Oh, he wanted to come for us, but... Oh, that was so much damage I just took from him. Oh, I totally didn't see that coming. I thought I had... I have a... Uh, okay. We still have all our weapons, so that's okay. The guy is leeching. Uh, but he's not killing me right now, so that's cool. Not getting me killed. What if I start flying and kill this guy? Oh, okay, this will happen. My god, am I re I'm really bad at getting in cover now. I'm really bad right now at landing in safety. Incredibly bad. Always I want to land in safety and I can't make it happen, dude. What's hitting me so hard, man? Dude, I constantly take damage. It's non-stop. It's this Natasha again. We have to get him. It's the guy with the Noricums. Okay, I got taken out by the repulse ability, but I have one more. But I'm gonna go with the leech first, so we save the anti-titan robot for the titans later. Um, by the way, this guy is starting to really get me annoyed, man. Wow. He just took a lot of damage. Did he use his shield? Now he's coming with the shield. Ah, okay. Okay. Okay, getting him. Getting him, hopefully. And then him. Nice, got him. Okay. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And leech time! Nice! Back in leech mode. And we have the, uh, our Chun that never stops having stealth. Yep, I took down the our Chun. Boom! <laughs> nice. So now we could run the Titan ourselves, or we start running the Titan Breaker. We have killed a couple of those long range setups that have been annoying us, so, yep, we should be pretty good now. The first Titans are already de being deployed. He is instantly shifting. Okay, another one goes down. And an Auchun flew behind the corner. Did you see that? I have to pay attention to that. Oh, and everybody is instantly hitting him. The second he comes around the corner, everybody was ready for him. Oh, the enemy is pushing over the bridge? Okay. That's interesting. I would like to have um, the overdrive running before I engage. But somehow he's not attacking me, so let's start to fly. Even when we don't have overdrive, better than not attacking him at all, right? Am I gonna make it? Yep. 
I made it in safety. Turning legs takes forever on this robot here. Oh, he's actually in range. Okay, okay, that was a lot of damage that I just took. Oh no, I, I didn't get my flight for reals. Yep, that was a horrible bad flight. The Ravana is coming. Instantly. Immediately the Ravana starts pursuing me. Wow. I'm gonna go behind my entire team now. That Ravana immediately starts to come this way. As soon as I landed, he instantly went in, f put the fastest gear in, and started coming this way. Wow. Okay. They really don't want this Hawk uh, here on our side. It's a kind of an even battle so far. Okay, I have to land back in safety, so that's what I'm trying to do here. That little hawk that we have here... Oh, now I know why he's down there! Oh, I see. Okay, now it all makes sense. Because this is, this is the spot that I kind of need to retreat back into. Alright, we have to play careful, very careful. We still have a lot of HP, enough for a takedown of Titans. Um, it's 20 versus 20 at this point. Let's go and fly. Every Titan goes for us instantly here. You see this, right? Every single Titan on the battlefield immediately focuses us. And none of these guys is actually going to move anywhere else. <laughs> Look at this! They're not moving one inch. This, this is it. They're, they're not gonna move a single step somewhere. Yeah, we dropped the Titan by 50%. And we also killed uh, the Ares. Now the enemy is in the... Now they have to do something. We just lost our, lost our damage mode. And the enemy is now in the in the need to do something. Okay. All right, that's it. We lost. We won. Nice. The enemy was so defensive that I was able to snipe out two of two people, and then we won because of this. That was a very very careful sniping, and I had to play super careful because they wanted me every time I started flying instantly. And when I landed, they they get such big eyes and want me immediately. Vishu Vardhan with 40 Indian rupees, uh, bro. PUBG banned in India. At least I have war robots. Has uh, PUBG not even not been banned in India a long time ago? Or was that wrong information? I feel like I've heard about something like this a very long time ago, like two years maybe. Is it possible it happened so long ago? By the way guys, thank you all for your contributions. It's awesome, but a large list already. And most importantly here, uh, I gotta really say a big thanks to... Um, I didn't read it yet. Uh, hold on. I don't know why it doesn't show up for me. Mark Mills. Hey, Manny, you should try the Spectre. Oh, though, no, I did read this. That's right. Mark Mills. Thank you so much, man. $50. Boom. What a big one, dude. Awesome. So let's stick with our team. Let's try to do some team play this time, okay? Let's try and really just play with our team. Usually I'm going one on whatever the heck I can find. Now I'm trying to basically stay with my team. Here's our um, Scorpion that's going to run away somewhere. This guy had his ability. I think I can hit him for a second and then I have to fly back. Let's see if we can make it happen. Yep, there he goes. Boom. Got him. And uh, what he does is pretty good too because he's basically doing corrosion damage, right? That, no, wait a minute. Nothing can bypass the resistance on the Hawk. Not even corrosion, I think. Um, but he did do a lot of damage to me when he hit me. 
I think this Aochun is coming for us. No, no. See, this is why we're al we're alone. We're not alone now. We have a team uh, that helps us, and uh, yeah, that keeps people off our toes. And let's kill this guy real quick. All right, and reps. Nice. And then landing back next to our team. I sh you know what? I should pl try playing team play a little bit more often. <laughs> Maybe there's a reason it's called Team Deathmatch. Who knows? Could be that there's a reason, huh? Nah, that's just me speculating, probably. They're killing the Ravana, no problem, because there are many. And most of the enemy is actually in the thing. Okay, we have an, an Ares there. Okay, something is shooting me from behind. Is it a scorpion? It probably was a scorpion. I would guess it was a scorpion. I'm not sure who it was, though. Who was it? This guy? No, that looks like a Ravana. Somebody had a scorpion, and he could jump on me again. I have to play careful and not... Maybe it was this guy? Kepera? Uh, Let's see. Okay, let's do some damage here once he comes out of his his mode, his transcendence. Yeah, we almost got him down to last stand now. Ah, okay, it's not this guy. Question is, where is he gonna go now? Ah, there he is. Okay. I can't hit him anymore. He stands too close under me. Wow. Oh, come on. I had another guy on me. Oh, see, I left my team. This is what happens when I left my team. I instantly get killed immediately. So there goes the scorpion. Um, I thought it was him who has the scorpion. That was my, my mistake there. All right, let's bypass his resistance. See, and this is the problem. That shouldn't happen. You shouldn't be able to kill a leech in his ability um, and by bypass his resistance. That's what's keeping him alive, and it shouldn't work like this. I really... Everyone says it. The entire community, every single player, YouTuber, everyone in the game says it. It must stop bypassing every robot's resistance. And Pixonic's like, la 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 la. Every single player in this game who has a voice on, has spoken online. I've never seen a single voice saying otherwise. Every single YouTuber agrees. Everyone. Makes no difference. Does not matter one bit. No, much how, no matter how much we agree on something. It doesn't matter. Why am I not flying forward? Oh my god. Ugh. Wow. Am I suppressed? Oh no, that's right. The weapon doesn't work anymore. I forgot for a second that the weapon doesn't work. The trident does not work. It's the same guy from before. He already killed me before with his, with his storms. Now he did it again. The same guy from before killed me again with his Storm Ravana. My goodness, dude. And I thought I had a double phase shift. My second phase shift somehow wasn't there anymore. I must have waited too long. Alright. Samsung, I'm gonna tell you, you're not gonna have a good find time for the rest of this battle anymore. That was the second time you killed me. You are the reason I died twice. So, um, yep. Oh, he's running away. He's running for his life. And now he's lucky enough that another person is gonna activate my ability. Or might activate my ability. He's coming, he's coming back. I'm low on health now. 
Okay, it's you, me. You are my my nemesis now. I'm not gonna care about anybody else anymore. Oh my god, he's got splash rockets. It's too. Can somebody please come and help me too? I need a second guy because I'm in a two on one and I don't want to do this. I'm not running a strong meta setup. I'm running a very weak setup right now with with some uh, fun stuff. They do. They double team me, dude. They purposely double team me. Okay. Let's try and stay safe. Oh no! Let's try and stay safe. Boom, death. All three hawks gone. Unreal. Wow. Wow. And he's taunting me so hard with that Ravana. Samsung is taunting me so hard right now. It's the same Ravana who's been involved in three killings of my robot. Three of them. He's taunting me so hard. Unreal. Three Hawks. Mainly because of one player. Literally. Him. He's the reason I lost three Hawks. I spent five minutes there in the corner trying to battle him, but he would never show, so I wasted my time. And then I got killed. Oh man, come on, dude. Huh? How did we... Oh, that must have been something with a jump, right? Doing jump and flying with the, uh, with the Aochun at the same time. Is that how this works? I'm not sure. I've, uh, I've heard about this, but I haven't seen it yet. Okay, let's uh, first get the leech. But that's, by the way, what happens. When, some, when one player decides to ignore everyone on the battlefield and go for you and no one but, uh, but you, he's going to get you. Because there are other players in the game, and you can deal with every player in the game and with a guy who focuses you out, right? So it's always going to happen. If somebody ch decides to just end you specifically, he's going to get you. Uh, at, at least as long as you were playing with other uh, and fighting other people too So oh, I'm going to enjoy this Samson. Bye How is it to have people on you and this one guy who focuses you? So where is he gonna respawn another Rava now, of course All right uh, but a Ravana isn't really um, a problem for a Titan. They can just keep you busy for a little bit, but it's not really a big problem. Green screen issue? Really? Yeah, we do have a green screen issue. Thank you for letting me know, guys. Oh, there he is. There he's back. Okay. I was just going to take care of the green screen problem. Um, hold on. Uh, it's the this side. Okay. Ah, because I did this. Okay, I know what happened. All right. Thanks for letting me know. I didn't see that. Oops. Didn't see that just then. Nice. Um, Amar Khan with a twenty dollars says, "I respect the fact. Uh, no, well, uh, well, whether you get one named after you or not, you're a cool guy. I respect the fact that you always keep the, keep it honest. When you see an issue, you call them out on it." And not, uh, not uh, you know, be uh, biased or anything. You know, it's. I guess it's kind of in my nature. Even if I, even if I would, t would try to, to love it, I think I couldn't. I think it's not in my nature. If something upsets me and I f find something incredibly stupid, boring, or wrong, it's, it's. I, I can't. I think it's not in my capabilities to, uh, <laughs> to not be upset about it. It's like, it's. I'm too simple for that. I am a too simple person <laughs> to be so tricky. Yeah. Um. Oh. Okay. He's gonna teleport back now because wow, look how much focus or uh, how much damage he just took in this short time. Uh. Okay. We have Ravanas already taking down the entire uh, you know base of ours or the, everyone. I was being locked down a second ago. Ooh, ooh. I don't have face shift here. I have the jump. Why do I have the jump unit? Huh?
Yep, got your last stand first. Who's that Ao Chun who, la who flamed me every time? This guy, huh? So the um, this guy will, will be coming for us now. We know this much. He's going to regenerate his ability. And then he's going to come back. Ooh, wow, 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 wow. We're getting hit a lot here. He's coming. I was already ready for it. And boom, there you go, dude. Oh, come on. That jump was supposed to save me. Uh, that was the worst jump I could have ever made. Not sure if I'm going to make it in safety. Boom. One hit, boom. One hit. Ah. Okay. I was going to jump back and I didn't uh, pay attention to that little uh, blocking uh, corner there. Okay, he's uh, shifting now. Alright, down to last stand with you. Yep, there you go, man. But I already lost uh, a lot of uh, HP here. I can still corner shoot a little bit, but I'm getting hit somehow. How am I getting hit? Ah, he has Exodus. Okay, that's why. We're saving up the Titan this time. Ravana in my shield, boom. Now Ravana is running the next thing. Okay, let's just keep our team right in front of him. Okay. There he is. I'm gonna activate the cannon just in time. Boom, there we go. Gotten rid of this guy, now I get killed because of course I used up all my abilities. Yep! Ravana is so, so a stupid robot, man. Just comes, he literally walks through the entire base. And just kills two or three people from behind. No one can kill him. Then you, he's like, oh, look, there's a Hades. 100% HP. It's one of the strongest players that plays this game. Oh, it doesn't matter because I'm a Ravana. Boom, death. Okay. Uh, oh, there's a wall. Okay, that's right. There's this wall. That's right, yeah. I, I bet the Auchon is going to come around the corner and attack me. Oh, thank goodness. No, he didn't. Okay. I thought he was going to come around the corner and go for me here. Oh, the damage. Oh, the damage he's able to do. Okay. Okay. Gotten a lot of the guys down. Let's go and retreat back into safety. This bulwark is a bit of a problem that we have still in the base. The enemy has a has a strong bulwark in their base. And he's not making things easy for us. But I'm not really a fan of this map. Especially not in Team Deathmatch. I think in Team Deathmatch is incredibly bad. Oh, I can't hit him. That's right. I only have 500 meters range. Oh my god. Oh my god, how much damage did those Noricums do? Did you see how much damage these Noricums just did? That's unreal, dude. Moving backwards so he can't hit me anymore. Because that's what you how well, you can make them miss. If you move backwards like this, then the Noricums can't hit you. It's not possible. But he's going for someone else. I guess it's a good setup on this map, right? On this map, it makes sense. Uh, no, not on this map. On, on Team Deathmatch, it makes sense to run Noricums. Uh, because, yeah, you can do some cool stuff with it. People will feel safe, but aren't safe. Okay, he's locked. And he's face shifting and I'm locked. I would have killed the guy, maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure. Wow, he teleported onto the platform. 
I have nothing other to use now. I'm gonna start with a Titan this time. So, let's have some fun. Is he hitting- is he trying to hit me? Okay. We have an enemy hawk robot attacking us. It's the one that we couldn't kill before because he landed in safety. He's face shifting another time now. I can't kill him. He's face shifting every single time before I can get him. Yep. Let's see if from up here we can bypass the Arthur shield. I'm gonna get this Titan destroyed in a second now. Yep. Um, Alright. Jumping into this thing. So, there is nothing other than I focus now than FR Aegis. You with your anti-Titan robot, you just ruined my life, man. And the fact that the face shift was what, what allowed it to happen. The face shift is the reason for this. But I also use it, so it's kind of a have to on this robot. If you're not using face shift on the Hawk, then you're actually- we're act you, you could even say you're doing it wrong. You're actually- you're doing it wrong. If you're not face shifting on the Hawk, then you're doing it wrong. Uh, because the Hawk needs it. Okay. Are you guys in a squat with each other or something? So we've got the enemy Hawk there. So this is the guy with um, uh, with the scorpion, but he's faster than me. He is faster than me. I can't I can't go, walk away. He's coming. There he is. There he is. I couldn't move away from him. He was faster than me. You know what, dude? I'm gonna fly to the end of the earth now. To the end of the earth. You're not going to jump on me anymore. I was trying to walk backwards. He tried so hard to stay on in 350 range. I want to run this against Titans, not against Scorpions who jump on me every single time. You're never going to get a single jump on me anymore. Promise. Have fun trying. I'm gonna keep him aimed all the time now, and I'm gonna make sure there's never an opening for 350. So, they're dropping Titans now. Okay. We still have another Titan afterwards too, so... We should be good. Okay, I'm going back. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna bother with anybody attacking me when my abilities aren't ready. Forget it. Not gonna happen. I play- I play- I play the same way they do now. I'm normally- I'm the kind of guy who likes to play action style and also attack in between of ability uses. But I'm not gonna do this now. Because it bites me in the arse every time I do this. Here we go. And there goes him. Took down half the Arthur. He was looking the other way for a second. So now he's gonna he's he's having the exact same problem that I had before. Where um you know I'm the hawk just stays in safety. We have to get this this guy here. Okay, we did get him. Oh I have to go back though. All right, match is over. Nice. Eh, look. <clears throat> Watching your years, glad. Uh, glad you're still dominating. <laughs> well, um, in this match, I had to play very careful uh, because scorpions, for example, are really, really dangerous too. The hawk is a robot that has um, is very powerful, but it also has has. Nemesis enemies. Uh, the Scorpion is one. Our Chuns are dangerous. Nightingales are dangerous. And Ravana beats everyone in a square. <coughs> That's Ravana for you. If you're trying to come, the Ravana comes around, and slaps you in the face. That's that's Ravana play. 
zero skill required, 100% guaranteed success for zero doing the right thing. That's Ravana. Uh, Bradley Guzman, $5 super chat. Uh, Manny, uh, Magic City 6305, uh, here from Miami. What, um, hey Matt, uh, what would you think about a new weapons, Weber, Gauss, and Volt? I think they suck. Um, I'm not a big fan of them either. I think long range weapons, as much as Pixonic is trying to make them viable or useful, they're just not. They're just not really interesting. Long range weapons just not, just aren't, aren't cutting it in the game right now. Um, but when they bypass resistance, I mean, I can see at least some kind of use for them, right? He's gonna phase shift. What? He's not gonna phase shift? Okay. The first, I think that was the first guy <laughs> today who didn't phase shift instantly. Um, but yeah, greetings back to Miami, dude. I think Miami is like, Miami and Los Angeles are like the places I would like to live. Really, I would love to live in either one of those two places. This would be my dream come true, living in LA or in Miami. This is literally, I'm not, I'm not even joking. I'm such a fan of such a USA, I'm such a USA fanboy, dude. <laughs> uh, it's like, if, if I went to the, um, it's, it's crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm totally a fanboy of the USA right now. And I love the land. You guys have such amazing land over there. So ridiculously awesome land. Um, and this is really uh, something impressive and something that that's valuable a lot or worth a lot rather right to have a great country uh oh the phantom is coming back and I'm hanging here I can't move away I'm still hanging here oh man this is so annoying when you when you get stuck like this Somehow the hawk robot has a problem with getting stuck after his landing. I've read this a lot also on other people's comments. People kept saying this a lot, that the hawk robot has this problem apparently. Really? Instant lockdown? Why? Why? Why are you locking me down? You're, you can't do damage to me because I have the resistance and you're damaging yourself at the same time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh boy. Okay. See face shift. It's it's stupid, but it's like effective. Whoa! What is that? What is happening? We have a Genesis of Death, ten dollar super chat, um, and he says, uh, "Oh yeah, love your videos, dude. Keep rocking, Genesis of Death. Thank you, man." Why are you doing this? Are you guys playing together over there? This guy locks me with. Uh, or did the guy with the Molods lock me? I'm not sure. Maybe the Molod dude locked me. That could also be. I, I wasn't sure if the Nightingale locked me or the Molod dude. Okay, here we go. Attacking the Lychee. Can't attack him. But I can take down this guy. And then land in safety. It's so important to land in safety after your flight. It's like one of the most important things in this game. I don't know why you do- Yeah, it's him! It's him doing this every time! Why are you doing this, man? And then you get yourself killed afterwards because thankfully I have an, an Ares in front of me with a nice Ares shield uh, uh, rocking. <laughs> Up, up. Come on! Oh, come on! Dude, this is so annoying with this robot. You, are you, you keep landing and hanging in the air, and then they can hit you because your resistance is gone, and you're still hanging in mid-air, and everybody can shoot you. Normally, I land on the ground, and if I don't land on the ground, I still, I only tweak, my, I twitch my robot once, and then you fall down. But twitching the robot once does not help you get down on this robot. It doesn't help you. By twitching the robot, you don't go down. You stuck, you're standing there stuck for pretty much the entire time. This is so annoying. And I've read this from Adrian. I've read it from, from other people. I've read it from so many um, 
uh, YouTubers and people that the that the hawk has a terrible getting stuck problem after his landing. It's still no robot in the game has it that horrible. By the way, we could probably run the hawk uh, with lockdown ammo. That would be cool. I see the Titan, but I'm like, come on, let me deal with these guys first. Yep. Still stuck here, but this time it wasn't so bad. Let's get him locked. Oh no. And then corner shooting. I have to reload the weapons. I'm trying to get him locked again. Actually, I don't think we, ha we have to worry about anything here. I'm just gonna corner shoot kill him. Like this. Okay, got him there. I don't know if he had his flight ability already used, but he went down fast. Ugh. Ugh, the landings are so, <laughs> so difficult. Okay, we have, um, we have a thing coming up. And, um, what's it called here? <laughs> Trying to land in safety? Ah, uh, okay, it's, let's, okay, we can accept that. Poo. Um, yeah, so, let's wait for the next flight ability and then see what we can do. To some Arthurs. We have overdrive rocking, so this Arthur there won't make it for much longer. Look at this. This guy's done. And the, um, this guy's actually standing there in safety. Yeah, every time you land, you have to twitch your legs because they're turned weirdly in the wrong direction. Somehow, I can't quite put the finger on it, what it exactly is, what the problem is, but... Instant lockdown, lockdown ammo use on the thing. Oh my god, that landing was an absolute master land. A master landing by this person. Did you see that? Holy moly! Perfect behind the building, 100% safe. He's gonna try and lock me down immediately again with instantly lockdown ammo. Let's help against the Leo up there. Okay, he's out of range with his weapons. He can't hit me. This time he again landed in safety. I wonder... Oh, there's a Titan. And... Wow, how fast it just goes down, man. Oh, this time it's actually cool that I'm stuck here because now I can shoot. But see, this is like the perfect example now. This is exactly what I have been talking to you guys about. The, this this is the way of getting stuck that uh, that causes these problems. Other robots, they will sil simply fall down, but not this robot. This robot will just hang there weirdly in the air somehow. But oh, that was a well is actually a really well leveled Arthur, I think. This guy uh, didn't go down fast. Okay. Uh, Hang Lei with five dollar super chat. Hey Manny, do you still think Ravana is broken when Hawk is probably the only thing that can counter it in one on one? Uh, Hang Lei, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but the ro Hawk robot has the same chance of counting or countering a Ravana as an Aochun zero chance the hawk will simply outweigh the flight ability of the hawk the ravana and then uh, the hawk will land ravana kills him ravana stands uh, the 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 hawk has no chance literally not the slightest trace of a chance against the ravana the no skill broken boring ravana will break the Rav uh, hawk no problem um, and you don't even have to be good for it. You just press a few buttons while the enemy has his ability running. 
And uh, and when the ability is finished, you kill him. The the hawk literally has zero chance against the Ravana. Zero. Um, so yeah. And yes, it's absolutely broken. It's stupidly broken, the the Ravana. And uh, it has been from the beginning, and then it has been made worse with a legendary pilot, which is a really a, was really a bad idea, if you ask me. Um, but overall, um, I think we are uh, one thing I liked. What I like right now is um, that we see a bit more meta stuff, right? That's something like it's so easy to always complain. Only there's also something positive that I want to say. Um, Back in the days, you might remember, the only thing that you played was Ares. Five, five Ares hangar, no, no problem. The only thing you played was a Spectre. Five Spectre hangar all the way. You saw a lot of those. So if you didn't have a Spectre, you didn't have what's best for you. So, and, and this is the thing. Um, now the meta has changed, or Warabot, uh, Pixonic has changed the meta in a way where now there is more more things that are useful and good instead of just one thing, right? It's no longer just this one thing that you can use. Now you can use a whole bunch of things. Okay, he got me locked. That's a problem because I actually had the plan. I'm not sure if I can still make it to, to land up here. That was my plan to fly up here. And from here, I think I could maybe... Wow. Okay. But I shouldn't really be able to... They shouldn't really be able to hit me here, right? Maybe the Tulumba Spectre with his splash, but not... Yeah, he's hitting me, but at this time, I think he's hitting me because of the jump. I think he's hitting me because of the jump this time. I think he's got no problem with sitting there waiting for his ability to come back. And then try and do the jump kill again. I think he's gonna do it. Oh! Wow. Really? Okay, who was it? That was dangerous. Okay, let's try and stay safe and fight from a distance. I think it was him, this guy. This is the uh, the the scorpion. Is he gonna come for me? I think so. Yep, he's gonna come for me here. But now you're dead, dude. You're dead. Told you, never ever come that close to your enemy when you run the scorpion because uh, all the enemy has to do is just turn himself a little bit sideways and then he's gonna kill you. So I'm glad we got rid of the scorpion and we have the overdrive running now. I would like to get behind the Ares, but... Oh wow, he face shifted just in time. But we got the shield still. Oh, we have another donation. I'm gonna read that in a sec. Hold on. Okay, this is it for him. Nice. He went out just a tiny little bit too far. Can I hit this guy up there? Or is he gonna be in safety? I can hit him. And I got him. Nice. Oh, I keep flying. Look, I keep flying higher and higher. When you when you start bouncing in one direction higher, then you will keep flying higher and higher somehow. That's very interesting on this robot. Now from up here, controlling the roof with the uh, hawk, it's gonna be really good. Wow, we just did a lot of damage to him. What is this down there? Wow, see? From here we can help so well and control so much of the base. Here we go. He's gonna try and land now, I guess. Okay, that's gonna be difficult now.
I think I should probably go down here. Jump down the last possible second. Living legend already. Oh, wow. He's leeching, but I hope his leech ability is going to end. We're still with a lot of HP here. I'm playing extremely careful right now. I'm trying not to waste the robot in any way. I would like to get for the phantom. Here we go. Now, look at this damage. This guy has resistance, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm gonna land here in safety. I'm suppressed still. Somebody suppressed me. Oh, he's stealthed. He has a st cloaking unit. Interesting. But he's not gonna get another flight ability because to, to his disadvantage or unfortunately uh, for him. Okay, starting to fly here. Alright, and then trying to land in safety. My team hopefully takes care of this guy. Because he's undoubtedly going to try and go for another flight. And try and go, go for us. He's already tried and proven that he's, gonna, he's interested in that before. Remember before he already came for us with a scorpion? Oh, I think, yep, the game crashed. But I think we had this one in the back, no problem. Uh, it was... Uh... Okay, I can't see the quality. 23 versus 8. 23 versus 8. That was a pretty easy win. Uh, sorry for the crash. Apparently it happens once per livestream. Yeah. So, um, let's have another match here. Brian with a $5 super chat. Keep up the great work and I hope I'll never see you in a match. Uh, thank you. And I hope I do see you in a match on my side, Brian. And uh, Gameslayer2020 with a $2 super chat. Uh, hey, you forgot to, to read my last donation of $5. Oh, Gameslayer, I'm so sorry, man. You shouldn't have to donate twice just so I read it. I'm so sorry. I'll read it now. Uh, hey, Manny, I think um, Gameslayer2020 with a $5 said, Hey, Manny, I think it's the Hawk is too powerful with his with his built-in weapon. So, wait, something uh, just moved. Where'd it go? Ah, so what do you think about it? And uh, what about picks on exchange at the Hawk? Um, Gameslayer2020, again, sorry for uh, I overlooked it somehow. My mistake. Um, I think the uh, the Hawk robot would be perfectly balanced. I mean, I'm no, 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 no. The Hawk robot would be one of the most powerful robots in the game. Top two right now after the Ravana. Even if they removed uh, the um, the uh, this this damage by the resistance bypass, if they remove the resistance bypass, then it will be the second most powerful robot in the game still. And if they don't remove it. It's going to be the most powerful robot in the game, simply because you can counter any robot with it so well, right? Um, but you shouldn't be able to... These robots need these resistances to stay alive. This is their ability. You can't just go and disable their ability. You can't just make it not work. I got suppressed. Wow. A Nightingale is already on me, dude. A Nightingale was already on me. I did, did some sweet damage to him though, so that felt good. Revenge. Wow! Is it just me or are they going like for me like crazy here? Look! Like everybody is coming for me! Okay, now he's face shifting. And uh, no, not shifting. He's he's doing his ability. And now he's face shifting. Okay. I just said it a little bit too early. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, the thing running. He's gonna come out with his ability, but you know what? The ability won't matter here because he's got so little health uh, that even if he did use his ability, he's gonna he would get killed. Okay, that guy's going down. And these Nucleons, they just pack so much firepower. It's so crazy. See, this is not supposed to happen. The leech 
deserves to be powerful when his ability is running. He deserves that. You shouldn't be able to kill the leech while his resistance is, is, uh, is running. But we're doing it like no problem. It's stupid. Sorry. I, I, I really disagree on this. But again, to my point that I made before. So the one th good thing I really like to, to say is really great is that Pixonic has, ma has managed to make many more robots be part of the meta. Where previously... <coughs> excuse, excuse me. Where previously it was only this one robot. Um, this one this one Ares or this one uh, Spectre. Uh, and then this one Aochun pretty much, right? Now they have made it so that there are many robots that are meta. Nightingale is definitely meta. Uh, the Blitz robot with the legendary pilot is meta. Aochun is absolutely meta. Uh, the um, Ravanas are incredibly meta and absolutely top top tier stuff. And so is the Hawk. So is, um, you know, many things are really, really, like, the meta now. It's no longer just one or two things. Now it's really, like, a, a huge variety of different things. And that's that thing I really, that I really like. I was getting so bored back in the days by seeing five hangers of specters all the time. I was getting so bored by this. So he just used his, I think, his third... Ability, now there is a phase shift. And now the fifth ability. And now he's got no more abilities, as you see right here, clearly. And then he gets killed. That phase shift was the perf perfect. That phase shift was uh, basically got him killed because of that phase shift. Does he have Avengers? Yeah, he does. Okay. We have a leech here to the left who's leeching and that means he's now getting killed. Oh, I got locked in place here. Uh-oh. Yeah, okay, we have some... Oh, I thought that was a titan. I thought we have a titan on us now. Um, but it was uh, the Dragoon Natasha. But unfortunately, they always go too far with every robot, and this is the same with the Hawk. So in order to answer your question, um, buddy, uh, I, I, the Hawk needs to lose the resistance breaking thing. It can no longer, it, it cannot, it just can't break every robot's resistance. That's a big problem and a big no-no. Wow, look at they all squeeze into the corner. I'm trying to land back in safety here. This is the only way how I can kill Ravanas really effectively is by outranging them like this. And then they have no other choice basically but to um, to use their abilities at, at long range. Okay. I'm trying to just survive right here. I'm trying not to get myself exposed to him. But he might still be coming for me. Um, that's a Strider. A Strider is coming. Cool. Yep, there he is. There he is. He's back. I knew it. I kind of knew that was going to happen. Because uh, I only had to leave him out of sight for one second. And he immediately used that to his advantage. Wow. Uh, is it just me or do I have a lot of Ravanas on me right now? I feel like I'm having a ton of Ravanas on me here. More than I care to admit, dude. Way too many Ravanas. Alright, it's 18 versus 14. We're still alive, which is good. Let's see how for how long we can stay alive. Alright, we have an enemy Arthur coming in. Let's do some damage and break through his shield eventually. It won't take for long with this uh, with this much firepower. Uh-oh. I made a horrible landing. 
Uh oh. That was a really bad landing again. So that one more flight and the um, the thing is gonna break. Uh, the physical shoot on that Arthur. Uh, is it still not broken? It needs. It must be broken. Uh, we can even do a lot of damage to an Arthur with those two Nucleons, by the way. Those Nucleons really pack a punch. Okay. Landing back in safety. And just doing rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. This is the playstyle of the Hawk. Uh oh. Ah, I see what's going on now. We have a rocket salvo from the um, from the other um, uh, Nodens. He just broke our resistance pretty much, or it took our damage away. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No! <laughs> okay, but you know what? It doesn't matter. We have more. I wonder if he still has his suppression thing. Doesn't look like it. So we need to take some damage so we get the overdrive. Look at the enemy. They're pushing over here so hard now. I need to lock down the, um, the Nodens. Okay, I got him locked. And he suppresses me, of course. It's his, it's, you know, you can't kill a Nodens. I just realized you can't kill it. Not with a Hawk. If he uses this ability defensively against you all the time, then you can't kill him. It's not possible. But we're doing a lot of damage considering we're having overdrive running right here. All right, so we won this pretty easily, but uh, it was uh, they didn't make it easy for us here because there's a lot of cover on the map. And uh, despite the lockdown, you can't really kill the Nodens with the Hawk if the Nodens never uses his suppression for, any, for anyone but you. If he keeps it every time and just waits for you to attack him and then he uses it on you, you can never kill him uh, because he, he'll always uh, have you suppressed. Uh, interesting to find this out. I didn't actually think about this before. Figured how much of a permanent stealth, uh, figured out how to have permanent stealth. This is bug using dude and it's nothing good. And, um, by the way, uh, if you get screenshotted and, uh, if you get reported, you get banned. So, now I'm not, not sure how much money you, uh, invested into War Robots and how much time, but I personally wouldn't risk that. I wouldn't want to risk that. Um, if just, it all, all it takes is somebody screenshotting you, uh, or rather, uh, a, re a screen recording you with a video and sending it in. Boom, done, banned, and that's it for you. Bye-bye. So, yeah. Uh, I'd think about this really well if I if I were you vegan, uh, uh, W D T W no, B-T-W. <laughs> uh, but thanks, man, for the $2, and uh, I'm just saying this as a friendly tip. Don't want to have anything bad happen to you or anything, right? So, yeah, this is the, the four, uh, three hawks. Let me just make my little um, conclusion here. I personally don't think the Hawk is the best uh, best with these setups. Those setups just don't offer firepower. You need something with firepower. This is good. This offers firepower, even in short range and in long range. Or medium range, basically. Um, the 
Dragoon Huzar is probably a good setup. I'm working on getting this on my own account right now. I've already gotten it um, on a Hawk. But I do not have the Max all the way right now yet. Uh, the Huzars are uh, Mark 1. Um, but that's what I'm probably going to show you in a def different video coming up soon. And this works too because it has a lot of firepower real quick. And 600 meter range and outranges the enemy. You can stay safe out of range even further than, uh, than these two here. As far away as this one can. Uh, but you actually do damage, which is the big difference, right? So, yeah. Um, I think this is... Um, yeah, I would probably suggest you guys run it with uh, with Rhyme and Cryo. This is more useful. Rhyme and Cryo is, is good. Uh, obviously, this is a good setup. I think Exodus and Pinata might even work. Just stuff that has a lot of firepower. Even shotguns. Glory and... Um, Glory and... Oops. Again happened to me. <laughs> Uh, Glory and, and the, the Halo uh, it works rather okay because if someone drops next to you, at least you can have the necessary firepower to eliminate him in two shots, you know? Um, so yeah, this kind of stuff works really well, I think. Uh, I joined right at the end. Bro, that's that's not cool. Sorry, man. Spicy meatball. Um, Alright, so uh, let's end the stream right here. Hopefully you guys had some fun. I did, and um, I must admit, I must say, I, w I knew that we would run into problems with these setups. I knew that it wasn't going to be easy to play them very well, because they just don't have the firepower for it. And I knew that this was going to work well, but I still wanted to go with some long range. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for being with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money signing off.